Right. So I hope you guys actually did the that the exercises or examples because they're actually really worthwhile and you need to do a shitload of examples and exercises in order to ace a course like or even pass a course like discrete math. So I really hope you did them. So the board of directors of Microsoft has 10 members. Now the upcoming stockholders meeting will approve of the new slate of company officers, which is chosen from the 10 members. So here's A. A is how many uh, different slates consisting of president, VP, secretary, and treasurer can the board present to the stockholders for approval. So what we have here is we have four positions and we have 10 members. Now these, any of those 10 members can be put up for any of those positions. So uh, here's, let's just write down the positions. So here's president, VP, uh, secretary, and treasurer. So we have 10 people so far for a president. So out of those 10, we get picked 10 people for president. Then after we picked, we've already picked one for the president, we have nine more choices. So we have, we picked nine for VP. And similarly for, um, which call it, for secretary and treasurer, you have eight and seven. And you use the rule of product, times these all together. And whatever the answer is for this, that's the answer. That's the the amount, or that's the number of different ways uh, the stockholders can uh, select their president, VP, secretary, and treasurer from the ten members. So next, we have three members that are computer engineers, and um, let's let's do the first one, I. So how many slates from part A have a physician nominated for presidency? So let's just start out with our four positions again. And we have three members that are computer engineers, right? So, so for the first position, we could say that um, for president, uh, there are three. And for there are three, three, three computer engineers and each one of those computer engineers have the chance to uh, to become president. So we have three for that. And then after that three, um, there are again nine positions. So the next one is nine, and then the next one is eight, and then the next one is seven. So this is again the rule of product. So I wanna explain this more carefully. So for B, it says there are three members that are computer engineers. Now, if we have a physician nominated for presidency, that means that for being the president, um, it has to be a computer engineer that takes the president role. All the other roles, um, or all the other all the other members that are not computer engineers, they cannot take the president presidency role because it says a physician nominated for the presidency. We have three members that are uh, computer engineers. I don't even know why that says physician. Probably because I modified this example from the book. So let's just change this on the fly. We have engineers. Engineers. And computer engineers. So yeah, so that's the reason why we have uh, three for presidency because there are only three computer engineers and a computer engineer must be nominated for presidency. Uh, all the other members that are not engineers, the other seven of them, uh, they cannot have the presidency role. So we have three choices for presidency. But then the other the engineers are not out of the out of the out of the choice, the other two engineers can take other roles. So then we just go back to our uh, to our normal normal calculations, and uh, after picking one person for presidency from the computer engineers, there are still nine people: the two engineers and the seven other uh, other members that are not engineers that can be chosen for VP. 
So we have nine for VP, and then we pick one of the nine for VP. Then we have eight people. Pick one of the eight uh, members uh, for secretary, and then we have seven people, and we pick one of the seven uh, for for treasurer. And it's as simple as that. Uh, I know that I haven't. Ex I don't think I explained that well, but I hope you guys get it. So for the second one, is exactly one computer engineers have to be on the sl on the slate. So this one, um, this one is simple as well. So pretty much, the, a computer engineer has to be on the slate exactly one. So for this is one case in which the a computer engineer can appear on the slate. So then this is three times uh, times seven times six times five. Now this is a little awkward. This is a little different from what we had for I. Why is this seven? Well, it says exactly one computer engineer can be can only appear on the slate exactly one. So, um, so using the this present rule, one uh, one computer engineer has already been assigned the uh, the present rule. So then there is already one computer engineering on the slate. So then we cannot have any more uh, engineers on this slate. So then. Minusing the three from the ten, we have seven people. So these seven people, one of the seven can be VP. Then we are left with six. One of the six uh, can be secretary, and so on. But this is not finished yet. We have four positions, so we have to times it by four to get the correct number. Because this is only one case. What if there were? Uh, what if? What if uh, a member that was given the president role wasn't a computer engineer then and one of the members that are a computer that are computer engineers was given the VP role so each position is one case so this is the president uh, president case there will be another case for VP and there will be another case for treasurer and for secretary each in each case there will exactly be one computer engineer on slate and that's why we times it by four. So number three, at least one computer engineer appears on the slate. Now this is pretty simple too. So remember that um, this this uh, A is pretty much how many different slates consisting of presidents, VP, secretary, and treasurer can the board present to the stockholders for approval. So this incorporates every single possibility that's out there. So we want to take this and the number for this is actually 5,440 and I'm just gonna write in these as well. For B this is 1,512 uh, this is 2,520 different ways. So this is the total amount of ways uh, the total amount of different ways that uh, that that members can be elected so 5040 now we might want to minus that by all the cases where a computer engineer uh, does not show up so that is uh, that is time minus the following seven times six times five times four and that is 820, 840. So these, this calculation gives us all the cases, all the different ways in which a computer engineer does not appear on the slate. So we take 5,040 minus uh, 5,040 minus uh, 840. Oh, not enough space. 840. And what we get is we get uh, we get four thousand and four thousand two hundred slates. So let me explain this. So at least one computer engineer appears on the slate. If you calculate, if you already have the number for every single possibility that exists uh, for for giving positions to these members, and we calculate all the different possibilities in which uh, computers computer engineers don't appear on the slate, that is, there is no computer engineers on the slate, then taking all the different possibilities minus the possibilities that there are no computer engineers on the slate gives us the gives us all the possibilities where there is at least 
one computer engineer is appearing on the slate. And that's uh, as simple as I can explain it. I hope you understood that. And for this next example, I'll try to go through it as fast as possible because I know this video is getting longer and longer by the second. So a burglar robbed a uh, the burglar robbed a bank and two girls saw the license plate uh, briefly appear and they responded to the cops. Now the license plate is formatted with two letters uh, followed by four digits. So they are two letters and these are letters followed by four digits. Three, and these are digits. Now girl one was sure that the second letter on the plate was an E or F so we have two possibilities here and that the last digit was a five or a five or a four. So there are also two possibilities here. Now girl two was sure that the first letter on the plate was a C or a G. So there are two possibilities there. And, and the, the first digit was a definite one. So there's only one possibility for the first digit. And that's one. Now the, we times this by 10 and we times that by 10 because there are 10 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So there are 10 digits, 10 choices, and uh, we are already sure of these two other choices. The first letter can be a C or G, second letter E or F. Uh, the first digit was a definite one, and the last digit was a 5 or 4. So timesing all these together, timesing all these together, uh, what do we get? Um, well, we get 2 times 2, that's 4, times 8, times 2 is 8, times 100. So we get 800 different uh, license plates. So the cops must check 800 different license plates to actually catch the criminal. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys did the examples, and I hope uh, my answers made sense. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, uh, because your support really helps in teaching and help and helps us in figuring out what to teach you guys next and uh, other than that thank you for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video